Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is what to what Wednesdays. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I had some uh, business that I got to, had to get together. Um, yo, what to wear Wednesdays? We still talking about Black History Month. We moved from Valentine's Day to Black History Month. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk to my melanated folks, you know what I'm saying, my melanated men for a second, um, about our color schemes and stuff that works for us that may not work for other people. And this is why I'm actually going to start gearing my channel more towards black men. Now, this is not to say that my white homies, my Latino homies um, can't watch uh, can't watch the, the channel, please, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you subscribe and you have this conversation as well, um, especially my Latino homies, because you guys tend to have the same type of melanated color that we start out for our light-skinned brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, so because of that, the reason why I wanted to have this conversation is because online I've been noticing that there's not a lot of stuff for black men, for melanated men to really get an understanding of their color scheme, and then also with our culture, with it being, whether it be hip-hop, whether it be R&B and blues, we tend to wear and move in a very different manner. You know, the culture here is church-oriented or very group-oriented. Even if we beef in or we having issues, we still gather together in groups, and so we move more in groupthink, and we influence people, I think, more because of groupthink. And so I wanted to make sure that we're having that conversation. Um, so again, it's always still going to be about your consciousness, about the construction of your character, and ultimately about the uh, communication in your communities. And because of that, I want to make sure that I'm having that conversation with the fellas, you know, who, who got some color, got some coily, kinky hair, and, and make sure that we have that. So what to wear Wednesdays today, one of the things that um, a lot of guys who are of brown skin or have tans and, you know, who are darker, we fail to realize that we wear color really, really well. And so I want to start out on that space with what to wear Wednesdays. When you are wearing your colors, when we're talking about black, black people, black people don't necessarily need to wear a whole lot of black. We can pull it off, but we look so much better in color. Like brown, that base color tends to just work with so many different color shades, tints, tones that you can mix and match. And so it's important for you to understand that. Also, it's important to, to realize that, listen, certain people got swag, and I don't mean this to be offensive to anybody else like that, but a lot of black motherfuckers got swag. Like, they just walk around with no money, no girls, no dope car, but they step out the scene and they like, yo, this is me, like, I'm a fly dude, like, you should fuck with me type situation. You know, I'm, I keep it all the way 100. I drive a Scion, but you still gonna see me step out in a suit. And I'm driving a Scion because it's affordable and it's paid off. You dig what I'm saying? So I don't allow that to deter who I am and what I represent. And I think that there's an interesting dynamic there just based on our history for how we're able to reinvent things, how we're able to reconstitute things and make them our own. And so it's important for you especially to own your station to own your character and to then begin to promote that character i make no qualms or apologies about the fact that i'm a dude who likes to dress up you can clown me you can try to criticize me but you can never say that my artistry does not make sense i always want those things to be at the forefront my biggest concern always is that you understand my point of view i don't care if you like it or you dislike it i want to make sure that you understand it and if you understand it, then you got to respect it. And if you respect it, the more you see it, the more you're going, you're guaranteed to love it. Not because it's something that is in line with you, but because it's something that's authentic and it's real. And real will always recognize real. So, and when you're wearing your, your pieces, number one, make sure that you're paying attention to the fact that you probably are going to wear color if you're a melanated person better than, or, or easier, I shouldn't say better, easier than you know, some of my white and Caucasian counterparts, they're going to have a, a tougher time because they have to pay attention to some other things. Now, as we continue to grow on this channel, you continue to evolve and learn more about this. We're going to start talking about undertones and the, the other tints and other compliments that are going to help build your color scheme and your color story. But just starting out, understand that you probably are going to wear a color better than others. So then it's just about you understanding what colors are your favorite and then also what colors you're going to be able to mix and match, whether it's Satorial, 
or a little bit more casual. Again, I'm not really the street dude, so I can't talk to you about sneakers and all those other different types of things in mass. I can give you the basic rundown of them, but you'll at least have that space where you can start understanding foundational stapled principles that you can begin building on and from. So I want you to try that on, see how it fits you. Fellas, if you melanated, if you brown skinned, don't be afraid of some color. Don't be afraid to compliment that with some colors. Um, leave me some comments in the comment box and let me know what issues you're having a lot of times when you're talking about wearing color and when you're talking about constructing your wardrobe, what issues are you having? What concerns do you have when it comes to professional and social spaces? Because I know that that's an important thing. We're going to start getting into those things over the next few months. Um, but again, just setting this foundation and again, with this being Black History, I needed a needed to address those brothers um but give me some comments um in the comment box share this with your friends for some people who may be a little afraid to wear color as you can see i got on my nice little mint green shirt we got the the tan um waistcoat we still got the green blue and this is yellow you can't see it look white in here you know what i'm saying going there and it's still business oriented but it's swaggerific it is swaggerific I don't even like swaggerific, but that's what we're going to use. Um, so make sure that you uh, are following me. Subscribe. If you're feeling the vibe, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Um, and like I said, leave me some comments in, some, in the comment box telling me what you are looking to express through your color, through the construction of, of that look. And, you know, maybe you disagree with the fact that brown and melanated skin men wear color well. It could be a case. If it is, let me know. Uh, until then, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind, and you should always dress to express. Oh, check out stylearchitects.com. We can help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing, too. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.